Hello everyone, let's look at the different tricks that you can still use to bypass the Microsoft account and internet connection during the installation of Windows 11 to set up a device with a local account. So Microsoft is now disabling the most popular options to bypass the online account in the internet requirement starting with bill 26220.6772 and 26120.6772 for version 25H2 and 24H2. And this is because the company says that using unofficial methods leaves computer setup incorrectly. So thus far, the options that were affected include the bypass NRO command and the local only command. However, you still have some options. But before, just let me show you that the previous workarounds no longer work. So right now I have a computer using bill 26220.6772 and I am on the initial setup, also known as the Autobox Experience. So in here, if we use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut, that will open command prompt. And in the past, we were able to use the bypass NRO command and then this will restart the computer and let us skip the Microsoft account. But now the command is not even recognized. And the other command was the start ms cxh local only. And now when we execute that command, the out of box experience is going to restart and you will still have to use the Microsoft account in order to proceed. Now, even though that we can no longer use the bypass NRO command to continue with the local account, we can still use the same approach, but we have to edit the registry. And to do that on the Autobox experience, just use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut, and then we have to enter this command. So here we're going to be using the local machine software Microsoft Windows current version OOVE and then we're going to use the bypass and then we're going to set the D word to one and then we're going to press enter. Now we need to restart the computer but we can use the shutdown RT0 and then press enter. Now after the computer starts just continue with the out of box experience and at this point also remember to disconnect your computer from the network, either unplug the Ethernet cable or turn off the wireless adapter. If you don't do this, you won't be able to skip the Microsoft account and then continue. And in here, click the I don't have internet option. And then just continue creating your local account. And then remember to reconnect your network adapter. Now, you can also use the command WinJS application restart, which is a JavaScript function used within the Windows Autobox experience that is primarily built for using web technologies. So if you want to use this workaround and while in the Autobox experience, use the Control Shift J keyboard shortcut, and that will bring the developer console. And in here, we're going to type WinJS application restart then we're going to open parentheses and quotations. And instead of the quotation, we're going to type MS CXH and then local only and then press enter. Now hit the escape button. Try that a few times until you get that screen dismissed. And from here, we can create the local account. We just need to specify the account name, password, And then don't forget to set the security passwords. And then you can continue with the local account. Now, you can also use the hide online account screens, which is a specific configuration option using the operating system installation and development process. To create a local account during the Autobox experience, do this. First, use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut. And then in here, we're going to type this command to add this registry to the system.
So in here, we're going to go to the same path as we used before, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, OOVE, and then we're going to be using the hide online account screen option. And then we're going to set that D word to one and then press enter. Now with this workaround, we only need to close command prompt. Now at this point, restart the computer and, and you technically don't need to disconnect your computer from the network and then continue with the out of box experience. And from here, you just need to create your local account. And then just continue with the on-screen directions. Now, the easiest method to bypass the Microsoft account is to use a Windows 11 Pro installation. And let me show you how you don't have to use any commands or any types of workarounds. So while on the out-of-box experience, continue with the uh, continue with the setup normally. And in here, this is the option that is only available on Windows 11 Pro. In here, we're going to select setup for work or school and click next. Then we're going to click on sending options. And from here, we're going to select the domain join instead option. And that allows you, as you can see, to create a local account. Now, after setting up the security questions, you just need to choose your privacy settings and then you're done with the local account. Now, another way that you can use to bypass the internal requirements in the Microsoft account during the setup of Windows 11 is by using the Rufus tool to create a custom bootable media. Now, if you never used Rufus before, you have to go to this page, then scroll down and download the latest version. Then just double click to run the tool and then it will look like this. From here, just click the select button and select the image for Windows 11. Then you can use all the default settings. If you want to change the label, you can do it here. And then when you click start, you will have this page with different settings. And I have previously tested just using the remove requirement for online Microsoft account, and that didn't work. That might change in the future if the developer releases another update for the application. However, currently I have to check this option and also I had to select the create a local account with username and in here make sure to specify the username that you want to create a local account on your computer and then you just need to click OK to create the custom USB bootable media. During the setup, you will have to go through the out of box experience. However, all the settings to create an account will be skipped because these two options will take care of doing that for you. Now, after the installation, this account will not have a password. So you have to make sure to go to the settings app and then on account, make sure to go to signing options and then make sure to set a password using this option right here. And finally, you can also integrate an answer file into the USB bootable media to automate the entire process of installing Windows 11 that also bypasses the Microsoft account and internet connection. There are different ways to create an answer file, but I found that the easiest way is just to go to this website and then just complete this form with the preference that you want to use to install Windows 11. And the most important options that you want to use is this one that allow Windows 11 to install without an internet connection. And you also want to specify the account name you can also specify a display name and password, set it to administrator and add more accounts or just remove that user account. I also have a video that I go step by step on how to create an answer file that you can use to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. Check the video description to see the link for that video. Once you're done selecting all the configurations, scroll down to the bottom and then we're going to click the download XML file and save that file to your computer.
Now, this is the one I just downloaded, but I have also created one in the past. And the only thing you have is just to right click on that file, copy it, open the USB flash drive where you have the installation files for Windows 11, and then just right click and paste it. So once you pasted the auto unattend that XML file to the USB, you can connect this media to the computer that you want to install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. And depending on all the settings that you selected, the installation will be automated from beginning to end. But remember that this process will also delete everything on the computer. So if you have anything important, make sure to back it up before proceeding. And that's it. Those are the methods that are currently working to bypass the Microsoft account and internet connection to install Windows 11 on your computer. Now, remember that depending when you're watching this video, the other workarounds, they may still work because we still have to wait until Microsoft releases an update for Windows 11 and an updated image that will block those workarounds. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes that Microsoft is doing to installation of Windows. Let me know the option that you selected and worked for you. Now, in my opinion, the best option is the one that is available on Windows 11 Pro because you don't have to use any workarounds. So if you have the chance to install the Pro edition of Windows 11, that will be the best option. Remember to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.